The heart of the Veterans One Stop is now saying a tearful farewell. Holly Stouffer tells us why this decision didn't come easy for Delisa Russell. I can't imagine not being here. The director of the Veterans One Stop is stepping down from her post. I can't, but I just, I, uh, I just have to keep thinking about what's next. It's been a busy three years for Delisa Russell, who stopped at nothing to make the One Stop a better place. Never say never. If you say no, I'm just going to figure out a different way to ask you. <laughs> it was that persistence and dedication that led to the creation of this veteran's transition home. A gym donated by one of Chris Kyle's foundations and a kitchen that serves hungry veterans. Where people doubted if we would even have people come <laughs> to serving 800 plates this year at Thanksgiving time. Well, I'm not happy about it, you know, but uh, she's got other things she wants to do and and she has done a tremendous job for three years. I mean, the amount of stuff that she has gotten done over here is just unbelievable. It was during a trip to Jordan at the end of last year when Russell knew it was time to move on. And was standing in the Jordan River and I said, God, what is it that you want me to do now? Russell's been given an opportunity to work with active duty military, but that doesn't mean she'll be a stranger at the one stop. Oh, I'm not saying goodbye. <laughs> That'd be, uh, that would be impossible. In Waco, Holly Stouffer, Central There's Texas so News Now. The Veterans One Stop now serves 24,000 veterans a year compared to three years ago when they were serving just under 2,000. Incredible. Russell's last day at the One Stop will be on January 25th, and then she plans on becoming a volunteer. The case of two missing teenagers is now solved.